Speaking of policy, uh, as we near the end of 2017 and we reflect on the roller coaster, on all the updates that Facebook has rolled out throughout this year over the quarters, what, what would you say, the, count down the biggest headaches of Facebook policy of 2017? Uh, I think um, uncertainty mm. is obviously a headache. Like, if you know where the line is or you know where you know, the direction is, then it's easy. It's easier to plan around that and plan for that. Um, you know, we've seen a lot more stability in the second half of 2017 than we did in the first half because even Facebook at that period of time didn't really have much understanding as to what was okay and what wasn't okay in the wake of a lot of the political stuff that was starting to emerge, I mean, which is intensified now. Um, but we would see campaigns that we were running that we were signed off on that would then transition to, no, you can't do that, that are now back to, yeah, that's fine. So it's, really, uh, yeah, it's a lot they, of they've um, actually seesawed back. There's some flip flopping. So flip, -flo that sounds you know, political. New, I say new information, new decisions. So yeah, that's um, facts on the ground. It's right? actually, I actually, I really appreciate that they're able to kind of look, go back and look at something and say, yeah, we made a mistake, and then you know now this is okay. And do you think it is that, or is it like the revenue team pushing them to be like, no, you got to make more money? There's always pressure from other side. We actually have seen. Um, you know, the, uh, the partner that we work with at Facebook definitely in the last two quarters was a lot more motivated to understand how much money we were planning on spending. So I think that, uh, you know, you got to hit those quarterly numbers, you got to get that pop on the stock. So yeah. that filters in there somewhere, but it's, you know, the, the, the line is definitely that it doesn't, but it definitely does. Gotcha. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about your, your history here as a marketer. We call it the, the marketer's hero journey uh, on, on my podcast. But one of the things that